Well, thanks for taking the time to hear me out. Of course. I mean, come on, you had me at AIDS wing. Normally, I'm the one that's nagging everyone else about it, so it's nice to have someone coming to me, and I'm excited to hear what you have to say. My cousin is in corporate donations. She says the Adamson Group is taking proposals. Now, I oh, thought sorry, I don't mean to be... cut you off, but the Adamson Group doesn't take hospital proposals. They do now. Seriously? Ten million in grant funding to one lucky winner. What? I don't... How did I miss that? <laughs> did you hear me say my cousin? The Adamson Group is not going to announce anything until April. So that means we have a whole month's worth of a jump on the competition? Yeah, if we put in the time, we can make up a proposal that they cannot refuse. You know, we, we take everything. Pitch everything that the Stone Cates Wing has done in the way of research. Yeah, and our community outreach. I mean, no other hospital can compete on that front. Exactly. This is going to be way more than the 500-word essay. You know, <laughs> this proposal needs to be extensive, comprehensive. We're going to be burning the midnight oil like we were back in college. I liked college. So did I. <laughs> How awesome would it be to win that grant? That money is so ours. I mean, I don't care if we have to move in together for the next month. We are going to write the proposal to end all proposals. Have I told you lately how much you rock? <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, I know you were hoping for more, but I was straight with you last night. Yeah, to the best of your knowledge. The fact is, you were shot and medical care was delayed. So considering the pain and trauma, there could be holes in your memory. Look, if anything magically comes back... I'll call. You have my word. Thanks. There was uh, a new development this morning. We recovered what's left of the catering van used to abduct Brenda. Where? Torched at the airport parking lot. We came up empty on forensics. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And the location suggests that Brenda was flown out of town. Well, maybe. But the deal is the master of false leads, like him having me grab Brenda before the wedding, so when his true intention was to take her from the limo. But it is in his character to dump the van at the airport and hold Brenda right here in Port Charles. But I'm sure you've figured that out already, huh? This is a test. Did I pass? I'll be in touch. Hey, Lucky. Hey. hey. I must have missed your call. I didn't know you were back in town. Yeah, sorry. I forgot to check in. I just haven't had my hands full. Oh, I know. I heard what happened to Brendan and Sam. Yeah, well, at least we know who we're up against. The Balkan is Theo Hoffman, Brenda and Dante's lawyer. The hypochondriac who threatened to sue this hospital? Yeah, that's the guy. He was right under our noses, but now we're on to him. If you need to reschedule your Thursday night with Cameron and Jake, I'll completely understand. No, no, no that's, that's fine. Thursday's great. I mean, I, I love spending time with the boys. Yeah, so do they. Hey, I have new pictures. You want to see them? Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to. No? Can you believe how big Jakey's getting? No, it blows me away every time I see him. I know, and Cameron, and just Aiden. Oh, wow, he's getting big, isn't he? Yeah. You know, Monica made a funny observation the other day. She thinks Aiden looks like you. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you know, his forehead kind of looks like Mom's. Maybe his chin. Must have uh, skipped a generation. Nicholas popped up in his son. You're right. You're right. I have been writing a bit more than usual, I guess. You're also right about something else. It is because of you. Yeah, um, I'm... I'm really sorry if I've done anything to make you feel uncomfortable or uh, if I've crowded you. No, I just, it's, you know, it's just I'm... the opposite, really. Okay, um... Well, we're... We're in it, I guess, so... So here it goes. I've been thinking about you a hell of a lot lately. Oh. It just 
wanting to be uh, closer to you, if you know what I mean. And you think that's a problem? I don't know. I wasn't sure. Well, let me clear things up for you. <sighs> I think about you all the time. night when we got home from the wedding, I was kind of hoping that, um, let's just say that if you had knocked on my door, I wouldn't have turned you away. <laughs> Wait, that's, that's funny, no. too. No, it's just, I, I was actually waiting outside of your door last night for about ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I chickened out and, uh, you Went for, for, for a drive, of course, yeah. yeah. Well, you could have come back in the morning. No, Glenn, I'm, I'm just really trying hard not to take advantage of you. Maybe you shouldn't try so hard. you say I love you in sign language. Try it. There you go. Good. Do you think you can remember or do you want to run drills? I got it. Yeah. You know what, Molly? We uh, really appreciate this. It's very thoughtful, but I, I think it might be a little too soon for Sam to learn sign language because she could get her hearing back. I'll learn sign language. You should probably go. No, I'm not, I'm not leaving. Go look for Brenda. Sonny and Dante, Jason. look. Go. I guess I'm going. I guess so. No, no, God, no, absolutely not. I'm not. It's me. I'm sorry. I'm the one who's wrong here. No, Nicholas. Look, I want this, I okay? Know, I know, I know, I know. I want you to. I want this too, but you have to understand the, the last time I took a, what I want, I ruined three lives, okay? I'm sorry, so I don't want to make it four. I can't wait to get started. I'll grab the grant outline proposal so you can uh, familiarize yourself. I'll be right back. Oh, wow, Great. you look happy. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, Terrell just found us this great opportunity. I guess there's a grant that could get us $10 million in funding for the AIDS wing. That's great. Congratulations. Yeah, it's great. I mean, I'll be a lot of work, writing proposals, and not to mention a balancing act with my work here and Emma. Um, speaking of, uh, did you get Sam's ABR test results back yet? Yeah. I did there, right here. There's no nerve infections, no tumors, so... Okay, I guess we should continue with the steroid regimen, then. I agree. Um, I meant to uh, get it out a little bit before here, but uh, Dr. Jackson interrupted us. Hmm. I was wondering if you um, had time, if you wanted to have dinner tonight. I could bring some food over, we could spend some time with Emma, and maybe some adult time after, just me and you. This is how you say, Mom, take it down a notch. Oh, that's funny. Oh, sorry, Mom. I didn't know you were here. I'm sure you didn't. How was your visit with your friend? Oh, boy. I guess I should tell you. Oh, God. Now what? Ah, uh, the friend was Sean Butler, and while I was in his room, well, technically I was right outside, someone tried to kill him. But the good news is he's totally still alive. You and I are long overdue for one of our little talks. Oh no, the dreaded mother-daughter talk. Why don't you go take her and get her some hot chocolate? Mm -hmm. Don't take your eyes off of her. Never let her out of your sight. Watch her like a hawk. Come on, problem child. Okay. Okay. Is something going on? Like what? I don't know. 
don't know, did you and Mom hear something bad about Sam's condition and Mom wants to break the news alone? No, nothing like that. We just walked in on Sam and Jason making out. <laughs> so? Well, you know how Mom likes to give Sam a hard time about what's appropriate. <laughs> what's inappropriate about two people expressing their love for one another? I love you. Oh, they're very good. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> Do you need anything? No. Are you sure? Yes. Because I can go to your house and get whatever you need. No. Do you want me to stop trying to get you to listen to what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I know you both are back there. You might as well come in here. Hi, Mom. Sassy pants. <laughs> oh. Look, Hoffman's people had to drive Brenda away in something, okay? Just check for skid marks, any, anything that indicates a vehicle that, that took off in a hurry. Hey, hey any, any change in Sam's condition? No. But other than the hearing, there's... No, no, no broken bones, no burns, no internal damage. No, it was a good idea to bomb-proof the limo. Yeah, what's going on with the search? Well, we, uh... We found the catering van near the airport, torched, of course. That's too easy. You think? I think Theo's probably holding Brenda until leaving town isn't much of a risk. Well, just to make it unanimous, Sean Butler agrees, or so he says. Okay, we need more than what that guy says. I know, but I don't think he's holding back. And even if he was, he wouldn't now. Why? Why not? Somebody tried to kill him this morning, Jason. Some guy dressed as an orderly got into his room. I, I went after him, but he got away. Well, that's convenient. You know what else is convenient? The only person saying Sean doesn't know what's going on is Sean. I want to make sure this guy's telling the truth. 